Hey, snowmobilers, I've got a surprise for you today, but before we get to that, I have a riddle. What do the staff at Snow Tracks, Snowmobiler TV, Snow West Magazine, YouTubers like Snow Brats and Sled Addicts, Arctic Cat executives and insiders that I've talked to, and Catalyst Snowshoot riders all know, but I don't? The answer to that is coming up. Stay tuned. All right, first an introduction to what I'm gonna talk about today. <clears throat> this is my 509 Delta V Commander in carbon. It is a loud helmet. Um, and the reason it's loud is because there's a lot of airflow going through it. So the, there's, there's uh, air coming in over here and it's exhausting over here. Now, the way this helmet works is all the air comes in the front, goes through the entire helmet, and then out the back. When I'm in motion, my visor stays clean. And I'm not really 100% sure whether the electric visor is working. This does have the electric visor on it. I'm not sure if it's working or not. Because when I stop, I will fog up. But when, I, when I'm moving, clears the bell, no problem. But that means it's a drafty helmet because the air goes through the entire helmet it tends to be a drafty helmet and a little on the cool side. And I started buying, last year I started buying different balaclavas, um, different amount of insulation in the balaclavas to see if I couldn't mitigate that. And by the time I got that ready to go, the season was over. It was such a short season, I didn't get a chance to test those. So I, I don't know if that would help or not. But overall, the, the helmet itself is fine. Once you get used to the ear cups and how the ear cups work, you, you pretty much have to wear a balaclava to keep the ear cups from bending your ears over. Um, and that, that's fine. That works okay. But uh, like I said, it's, it's kind of a loud helmet. It's kind of drafty. Um, it just turned out to be kind of an overly complex helmet for me. I just wasn't sure if it was going to work. Towards the end of the season, I went to my uh, local uh, Polaris dealer, actually, in Grand Rapids, uh, Ray's Sport and & Cycle, and um, they had a sale on helmets. Springtime, trying to clean out this, the amount of uh, inventory they had, and they had such a good deal on helmets, I couldn't help myself. So this season, this is going to be my backup helmet, maybe my warm weather helmet. So I'll probably wear this when I don't need to be plugged in, for example, um, and I don't need to use a shield. But this is, uh, this is, this is, I'm going to keep this helmet. I still like it, but it's going to have to move over because what I got is a Mission Carbon. So here's the CKX Mission Helmet. CKX if you don't know, so 509 is a US-based company. CKX is a Canadian-based company. They're a subsidiary or a spin-off or a brand of Kimpex. So a lot of us that have been in snowmobiling for a long time know the name Kimpex. When I need aftermarket parts, a lot of times I'm going to Kimpex to get them. Kimpex is a, is a good company, solid company, and this is one of their brands, CKX. They have a line of helmets, and they've done an extremely good job. I mentioned at the beginning of the video how there are a lot of people that know something that I don't, and those people know that this is one of the most comfortable helmets, maybe the most comfortable helmet they've ever used. The other thing about this is that it has a kind of a split airflow. So you can see at the front of the helmet, there's an upper vent and a lower vent on the, on the shield. Okay, uh, inside here is a, is a rubber face mask, and that separates the upper and lower uh, vents. So the upper vent blows over the shield and ventilates the inside of the helmet. The lower vent 
is just there to suck air in and it, it, there's basically a separate compartment for your breath box. So this is more of a traditional where the 509, basically the, the face shield part of it is just a deflector. It doesn't seal off. The, it just tries to keep your breath kind of down and away from the shield and the airflow goes through the entire helmet all the time. You don't have a choice. When you, when you regulate the airflow in the, in the Delta V Commander, you're regulating the airflow in the entire helmet, where in this, you can regulate it separately. So the breath box has its own airflow, and that airflow, let me do it this side, I've got a little thing here. So the airflow exhausts out the back, out the back of the helmet. So the breath box air comes out these vents in the back of the helmet. Now the other thing about this is that it has, again, it's kind of meant for people with glasses too because inside here is a little ridge designed specifically for the temples or the sides of your glasses so that it fits in between there where the, uh, the Delta V does not have that. Now I did not have a problem with that with the uh, Delta V um, and I've never had a problem. But it is kind of nice. They've actually thought about people with glasses in this design and built eyeglass comfort into the helmet. So I, I like that about it. One last thing about this, the mission that I was concerned about, and that is this chin curtain. Now this, this chin curtain has Velcro. Now I like the idea that you, you, know, you can peel it back there to make room for, so you can put the helmet on. One of the advantages of using a modular helmet is it's very easy to put on because the whole front of the helmet moves up and out of the way and you can put the helmet on. You don't have to like squeeze into it. Where a full face helmet like this one and my Delta V, uh, you have to put the entire helmet on all at once. The Delta V doesn't really have much for a chin curtain. Again, it's relying on airflow through the entire helmet, which makes it cooler and louder. This one, it's more relying on, okay, your breath box is separate from the main helmet. So you have two types of airflow. The airflow that's going through um, to suck the moist air, your exhaled air out of the breath box, and then air that's coming up and over your head to cool, to cool your head so you don't get too hot. Um, this this uh, chin curtain looks, looks good. Looks like something you could put on without having to look at it, that's great. But because it's Velcro and because it's the breath box, one of the things that I was concerned about is will this, uh, will this freeze up and will ice coat the, uh, the Velcro to the point that I can't fasten it back? I don't know, there's a lot of these helmets out there and I would think that, that if that problem if that was a problem, that it would have been solved by now. Just a guess. Okay, but anyway, that's, this is my new helmet for the year. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have another video on how I'm gonna set this up for vlogging and uh, get a chase light on it. So I'm gonna put a chase light on it, I'm gonna mount a microphone on it, and get it all set up. I've got uh, some ideas on, on how to mount the GoPro to it and everything, I'm pretty excited about that. Thanks for watching, and this year I hope I see you on the trail.